heaven, West Virginia. Hey guys, it's Matt. Today I'm going to show you a video from Mary Trump. And she was on the Lords of Donald show. And she was doing an interview and uh, telling her opinion about Donald Trump and saying the walls are closing in on him and so on and so forth. And it pertains to what's going on with the uh, investigation that's going on in, this, in the House right now. And uh, I think she's a prior in her family pretty much because of what she's doing. And not only that, I think she's going on there just for the publicity. She's not going on there telling any kind of truth or anything like that. She's like a, a female Adam Schiff going on there, getting publicity, trying to get bigger name recognition. I don't know what for. Maybe she's going to run for political office or something like that's going to happen. I don't know. But she's throwing her uncle under the bridge and same with her cousins. But, guys, that's my opinion. Check out the video. It's going to be right after this. Hope you enjoy. Peace. And on days like this, uh, I, for one, wonder about the fragile mind of, of your uncle. And I think you just heard uh, Bob Woodward uh, possibly talk about uh, a source telling him, a uh, high Trump administration source telling him, that whatever was left of Donald Trump's ability to control himself, whatever particle was left of, of that, uh, disappeared on Election Day. I think that's probably true. Uh, as you know, and as we've discussed before, that was a narcissistic injury, the likes of which he never had suffered before and probably never imagined he would. And there was no way for him to recover from it. The only way he could mitigate the effects of that was to pretend that it hadn't happened, which is, was the beginning of the big lie and why he has so desperately tried to peddle it. Unfortunately for us, uh, practically every other elected Republican has uh, bolstered his ability to believe in it because they're, they've allowed him to perpetuate it. They've perpetuated it him, themselves. And that is in part uh, what led to the insurrection last year. The, uh, the news that Liz Cheney made tonight coming at the end of this day uh, with your uncle watching all of it. And uh, he, he hates a lot of people, but uh, Liz Cheney has to be right up there at the top of his list right now. Uh, how do you think he reacts to the possibility that this committee uh, will make a public finding and referral to the Justice Department on the belief that he committed a crime. Well, first, Representative Cheney should consider that a badge of honor. Um, I, I think that I don't, I don't want to overstate this because we've seen Donald get away with so much. But even he at this point must be feeling the walls close in uh, if he has any sense uh, he would feel that way. The January 6th committee is doing an extraordinary job of putting the pieces together, of putting a case together. And there's no doubt in my mind, if they are discussing making such a referral, they have everything nailed down. So uh, your uncle uh, issued three written statements today. He's banned from Twitter. Uh, and so just just filled with madness. The one coherent sentence that I could extract from it uh, is uh, the Democrats want to own this day of January 6th so they can stoke fears and divide America. I say, let them have it because America sees through their lies and polarizations. Uh, this from a guy who planned to seize this day for himself uh, and have a live TV event uh, today, which I think at some point he realized no one was going to carry on live TV. Yeah, I, I think, again, most of that is just projection. Um, almost everything Donald says uh, recently is pr some form of projection or another, which suggests that there's some level of uh, knowledge about his own guilt here. But I think his canceling that event is significant. It, it sort of reminds me of the circumstances that led to his video last year that clearly he did not want to make. Somebody managed to convince him that he had serious legal liability and he did not have a choice, which is why in part I'm guessing he canceled today, but nobody can stop him from making those 
appalling written statements. And I have to be honest with you, I prefer them because they don't get as much play. Certainly, I don't think uh, they have as much impact on the people who still follow him. And yet it gives the rest of us an insight. We really very much need into his state of mind since he still is the de facto head of the Republican Party. The uh, the president today kept talking about how Donald Trump lost. He didn't say Donald Trump's name, but he, he kept saying, in effect, there's always talking right to him. You lost, you lost, you lost. He used that word uh, lost uh, multiple times. And it made me think about the way uh, the intelligence community briefs the president uh, before talking to people like Vladimir Putin about what might irritate them if you want to irritate them, uh, what might make them feel more comfortable, what might make them feel very uncomfortable if that's your strategy. Uh, and this seemed to have some passages in, in there that were absolutely true and important for America to hear. But the, but the White House and the president had to know would go straight uh, into Donald Trump's heart. Yeah, I, I thought it was masterfully done. And exactly as you say, along the lines of a PSYOP, if you will, it was designed, at least in, in those parts, it was designed to make it clear to everybody listening to that speech what the reality of the 2020 election was, that Donald lost badly and joe biden is the legitimate president but also to make it clear to donald that nobody is fooled by his laws except maybe himself